Hey there, guys. I'm Jake, the offensive gamer, and this is Timor Avaricia. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, let's uh, let's do this. My dear nephew, if you're reading this now, know that I am no I am long gone. You are the only one that I can trust, so I give you the old house in my will. You've known about my experiments. I had a success. I managed to create, as I like to call it, a health potion. For some reason. It helps to heal any person's wounds within seconds of drinking it. I hope you find some use of it. You can find them in the basement, along with my other experiments. Some have not tested positively, though, so I hope you won't get into any trouble because of them. Take care, my dear nephew. Best wishes, your Uncle Frank. This is his last letter for me. He or his experiments must have killed him. I must find my uncle. What? What? Wait. But but that was his um that was his will. Right? Like he's he's dead. Like that was his last will and testament. Anyway, Oh, hey, would you look at that? Uh, I can see that, that our, our dear friend has not learned from his mistakes in the past, and he still has uh, lines in his skybox. Oh, Jesus Christ. I might just use that as a thumbnail right there. Just uh, show you that little, little skybox. So if you're unfamiliar with uh, Timor... That's Timor in a nutshell. That right there, what just happened, is Timor in a nutshell. But yes, um, there have been a couple games in the Timor um, series, as it were. Um, are, are you fucking serious? Why? Why is... Okay. All right. Anything over here? You got more scary things happening? No. Okay. So yeah, there have been two other Timor games before this one. I believe there's actually a sequel after this. Um. Oh, I thought that was a another one of those those dummies from the first two, if you recall. Uh, but yeah, there was Timor, and then there was Nox Timor. Um, and both of those are on my channel in the short indie games list. If you want to check them out, um, I played them. Oh, I thought the game froze. I played them both with Alex and uh, Ethan, who are both from GameWorks. Alex is on Jops with myself. Um, if you want to go and go and subscribe to that. Anyway, ooh, as you walk into the basement, you become slowly overwhelmed by the smell of a gas leak. You become dizzy and delirious, having a hard time remembering where you came from or why you're here. You spot a radio and some strange-looking light bulbs, somehow connected by wires to some batteries. Um... What little you do remember is your uncle's will. Yeah, it was just... All right, whatever. Uh, you must quickly find his health potions before the gas kills you. Throw the light bulbs with Q to see further. Drop a playing radio with R to attract the strangers in the basement. Pick up potions with E. Use them with C. Okay. So, okay then, I'm just collecting potions then, and trying to find my uncle, evidently. Alright then, this is quite different from the first two. The first two was really just me walking around in a haunted house trying to find some jump scares. This one, I, I guess, has like some essence of gameplay. There's, there's health potions that I collect, and, well, that's about it. I get, I use them too, so that's, that's, uh, oh, what? That is obnoxiously loud. Oh, what? 
the fuck was that? Was that one of the monsters? There are monsters in this game, correct? I, I assume that was one of them. Okay. So yeah, this game is quite different from the original two to more games. Um, I uh, mainly that I'm not laughing right now, so I, I guess there's that. If that was the developer's goal to avoid being laughed at, I think he may have succeeded. But if his intention was to create an enthralling game, I, I am I am afraid that may have not happened. What what? What is fucking what is that? What the fuck is that? Uh what? Whoa, whoa, what the fuck is that? There is a thing chasing me right now, it appears. Okay then. That was odd. Where am I going? Like, what the fuck is the goal here? I mean, I guess it's not as if, like, I don't know what the goal is. I just don't know how to, like... I just don't know how to go about finding... Like, this is a, a rather large place. Am I supposed to just collect all of these potions? I really hope that's not the case. Because he said to find the uncle. Oh, shit. I'll give him credit, that is getting me on occasion. But more like a getting surprise sort of thing. It's like... It's the difference between between being afraid and being and being startled, you know. It's like, oh, you startled me. Shit. Well, back to being bored. I'm sorry. Like, I'm not trying to be mean, but it's just like, Jesus Christ. Like at this point, like I, I have like, God, this is gonna be mean. But it's just like at this point, this is the third game you've made, dude, and. It does not appear as though you have learned from any of your mistakes. It seems like you've changed things, but you haven't learned anything, you know? Like you've taken base level complaints. I thought I saw something off in the distance. Yeah, you've taken like base level complaints and applied them, but you didn't really understand the essence of what people were saying. God damn it. So That's just annoying. How the fuck am I supposed to find my uncle in this? By the way, this is a gigantic basement. This is, this is an unreasonably large basement. Who builds a basement this large? Like, even as a laboratory, it doesn't make sense. Why would you do this to yourself? You're just... You're creating confusion. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck was that? That's the other thing, is like, they just kind of pop up. A lot of these motherfuckers. Also, I don't have my radio anymore. Yeah, so I've gathered that there are like three things that are trying to kill me, it seems. There's like a little girl, or a woman with long black hair like the girl from The Ring. There's like this floaty thing that, that has like an electric sound that goes with it. Oh, what's that? What's that? I don't know what that was, but I just picked it up. Alright. Then there's like this weird blob looking motherfucker. 
I haven't seen in a while. Now oh, there he is. Just saw him. Like, my fucking fingers are, like, plastered to the shift button and the W button. And occasionally pressing E and C. And that's the game. <laughs> Fuck you. Like, the other two were just, were funny. Like, they were kind of silly. This one's just upsetting. God, like, I'm, I'm being kind of a fucking asshole. Like, I'm sorry. But it's just, I don't know. It's just, it's annoying. <laughs> um, I will give him credit, like, I, I guess that there he's at least made things different in this one. And there is something to be said about that. Like, it's not, it's not just like Timor and Tim Nox Timor. He did attempt to change things up a bit. But, I mean... Ooh, excuse me. But yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I'm going to go about as long as... Um, or like, until my fingers start to hurt. Because I've been doing this for 14 minutes now. And it's getting tiresome. Fuck you! God! I don't feel like I've ever gone this far before. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, fuck you, Mr. Mr. Blobby. Whoa, whoa, okay. Well, they got me. They sure got me after 10 minutes. Okay, so I hadn't been doing it for 14. I've been doing it for 10. But they did get me, and I will admit that. That was, uh... That was a thing that happened. It, it got me. It looked like I made it further than I had up to that point. I was going in circles there for a while, but I don't know. Maybe I was making progress, or maybe I wasn't. Like, I don't really care all that much. Um, so yeah, let's go back to the menu, because I'm not doing this again. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, um, I was quite negative about this game, and I apologize if that's not what you're wanting out of this, but, um, having played his first two games, I thought to myself, ah, well, these, these are some, like, like, funny bad games, right? Like, um, like, uh, what, what's, what's a good example? Like, uh, Troll 2, I think it's Troll, right? Um, or something like that, or The Room, right? It, I'm likening it, it to films. Like, things that are so bad that they're good. And that's what the first two Nox, or the first two Tamor games were. They were so bad that they were good. Um, I, I actually enjoyed playing them because they were silly and dumb. Um, I don't know if it was intentional that that was the way it was supposed to be, but after playing this game, I feel like it probably was. Um, yeah, this was just like, ugh. At least the first, the first two evoked a reaction out of me, right? The first two made me go, oh, this is hilarious. I love this. This is really fun to play. Whereas this one kind of just has me, like, bored and dejected and, like, oh, so I just go running around a room, a, 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 an unrealistically large basement uh, uh, underneath, like, a fucking three-bedroom. Not even. Like, I think maybe a two bedroom like little cabin with trees that roots don't go into the ground they just kind of hover um and so you go into this basement and you press w and shift constantly and don't, you don't press it you hold down on it and on occasion you press the the e key and then when your screen gets blurry you press c and that's the game and try not to let anything that touches you move like that touches you don't ah words try not to let anything that's moving touch you because if you do ooh, you're bad and dead and you just wasted the past 10 minutes of your life that you'll never get back so that sucks for you buddy so yeah apparently Tamor Inferno which is the game that comes after this is five dollars so um doubt I'm going to be doing that. Uh, if I do, um, well, uh, I'm, I'm going to have to figure out a way to rationalize the fact that I spent $5 on a Tamor game. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I hope, I hope that, uh, uh, that this isn't an unpopular opinion about this game. Cause, um, yeah, 
this is this is not this is not fun to play like it's just it's not fun to play in any capacity you know i was hoping to go into this and going and go like ah either a this is just as hilariously bad as the first two or b this guy really learned from a lot of things that he, that he did in the first two and he improved them and he's trying to get better and the thing is the first two was fine and and look all of them honestly are fine because they're all free that's the truth is that they're free games right and since they're free they get a pass where the other where like other like bad games on Steam do not because they're not he's not trying to sell this stuff to you he's just giving it to you so it's like I can't really complain in all sincerity I can make observations but I can't really complain because it's free nonsense but if I play Tomorrow Inferno and it's just as bad as this shit that's where I start going okay hold on Mr. Developer let's slow your roll a little bit you should not be selling this stuff you need to learn what you're doing first before you sell something like this on Steam or Itch.io or whatever, wherever it is you decide to sell it. Um, as I'm some, some sort of fucking arbiter on this stuff, but you know what I mean? Like, it's just, they, then it all of a sudden makes me feel kind of skeezy or, or is it skeevy? I don't fucking know. Whatever the word is. Um, it just makes me feel kind of gross whenever I see like a developer selling a game that's clearly like not good. And not, it's not just not good, but like, a game that isn't well developed, that like mechanically isn't good. If you know, if you know what I mean, like it just in essence is at its core almost broken. Selling something like that is not a good idea. But yeah, anyway, so I'm I'm gonna go off into a huge fucking tangent if I continue. So basic point, not a good game. I'll link it in the description for anybody who wants to play it for whatever fucking reason you could possibly have. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's uh, about it. Hope you guys enjoyed, uh, my monotonous, uh, drivel about how I dislike this game and how I'm a curmudgeon, uh, and how I'm a terrible person and blah, blah, blah. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please be sure to like and subscribe and all that. And I will see you guys next time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't you know? God damn. What the fuck is that? Is that just a... <laughs> what? Okay.